Rebecca Peterson, and I'm a senior software engineer at Amazon. Today, I'm gonna to walk through how to approach a system design interview for the role of Software Development Manager, or SDM, or the Technical Program Manager, a TPM. We expect that you would be able to take an ambiguous business problem, deconstruct it into the specific technical components of your system architecture, such that it will work together and solve your customer problem. Both SDMs and TPMs are expected to estimate effort on behalf of the engineers. They also need to help create system designs and validate them and help their teams meet a complex and challenging roadmap. The types of system design questions that we ask are typically customer facing and ambiguous business problems. We might ask you to design a new social media platform or an airline reservation system. We might also take an existing Amazon program and ask you to extend it for a new use case. An example might be, can we figure out how to support live sporting events on our Amazon Prime Video platform? Your system design should be composed of specific technical choices. When you take your ambiguous business problem and deconstruct it into the components, we want to see you make very specific technical choices and share your reasoning behind that choice. A bar raising candidate can speak to the alternatives and trade-offs that they considered in their choices. You will also want to explain how your design will produce the scaling and availability that you need to provide a great customer experience. There is always a risk in going too deep with your answers, especially when you're on a time limit. I suggest that you explain the basic reasoning behind your technical choices, pause and ask the interviewer if they would like more information. If the interview is happy with your answer, they will have you move on to the next aspect of your design. However, sometimes your interviewer is going to ask very specific follow-up questions. Don't worry. Your interviewer is not trying to trip you up. Your interviewer is trying to get more information so that they get the full picture of your technical abilities. As part of your system design, you will want to consider how you're going to break out the different components that will make up your design. One thing that you'll want to consider is how are your customers going to interact with your software? We like to work backwards from the customer at Amazon, so let's start with the front end components. Will your system require a mobile app or a website, or maybe even some other sort of custom front end technology that they will need to interact with? So when you're considering your front end technologies, please call out specific technology choices that you would make. If you're choosing mobile, are you going to do native mobile development? Or would you like to use a certain type of software that will allow you to write code once and deploy to multiple platforms, including web. Whatever choice you make, make sure you call out the specific reasons why you choose it, so we can help understand why you did it. Once you've decided about your front-end components, now you have to start thinking about how you're gonna wire that up with the back-end and get to the data and capabilities that your solution needs. For the back-end, you'll wanna start thinking about what types of APIs will your front-end technology need and how will it be serviced? What are the different entities that are part of your solution and how would you break them out? There are a lot of choices that you're going to need to make and don't be afraid to be specific. Are you choosing a monolith architecture or a microservices architecture? Are you thinking about event-driven or are you providing a set of web-based APIs? While you don't need to write code for your design, you will at some point probably want to design a full API, both the name of it, the inputs, and the outputs to demonstrate your understanding of what it takes to provide a good API for your clients. One of the most important aspects of your design that will ensure that you have great performance, low latency, high availability, and fault tolerance is the selection of your database technology. Make sure you make a specific selection here and explain what you might need to do to make it scalable and available. 
depending on the scaling factors that you identified early on with your clarifying questions. At some point, your interviewer may want to see the end-to-end -end flow of data for a specific customer use case. An example might be, if you're doing an airline reservation service and your customer needs to make a booking, how will they search for available flights? Please be very specific about the trade-offs that you took into account and compare one database choice against another and explain why it is you chose what you did. This will help us understand how comfortable you are with the technical underpinnings of those technologies and help us evaluate you as a candidate. Another important aspect of your design will be to discuss how you and your technical team will operationally support your software. Be prepared to answer the question, is my customer having a good time on my solution? And how will I know if they aren't? This is where you can make specific choices around how you're logging, using metrics and alarms to get to the root cause of things that may be going on in your system. Your system design will reflect both a product or customer obsessed approach and the technical choices that you make along the way. And it can be challenging to figure out what the balance should be. Please know that at Amazon, customer obsession is super important. And we want to see that show up in your design. However, you are interviewing for a technical role. And if you have to choose on where to spend your time, spend a little more time on the technical side because that's the thing that's gonna help you get this job. We definitely want to see that your tech is driving the customer experience that you help create. A common question when approaching your preparation for a system design interview is how should I approach the problem at the beginning? I recommend that you ask good clarifying questions that will help you reduce the ambiguity of the question. You'll want to ask questions that will help you determine who are the customers of this system? Where is this system going to be launched? In what regions of the country or globally? You'll also want to understand how many customers you'll be serving and just get a sense of other scaling factors that can impact the technical choices that you'll need to make later. Asking these questions up front and as they occur to you throughout the interview will make sure you're focusing on the right things for your solution. One thing to be prepared for during your system design is that your interviewer may come with lots of follow-up questions throughout your presentation. I recommend treating this as almost a team or collaborative exercise where you're the one who's taking the lead on the design, but you allow your teammate, the interviewer, to jump in with their questions to keep you on track. Just know that your interviewer is not trying to trip you up. They really want you to succeed and they want to make sure that all of the data points that they need to collect are present in your answers. As part of your system design preparation, you'll want to think about how you're going to communicate your technical ideas to the interviewer. In an in-person setting, Amazon will provide a whiteboard for you. If you're interviewing remotely, there are a number of options that you can choose one is to use an online collaborative tool, awwapp.com. It's a diagramming tool where your interviewer can see what you're drawing in real time. Another option is to use a diagramming tool of your own choice, one that you're familiar with. And the video conferencing software will allow you to share your screen. You can also use your own whiteboard setup at home as long as the camera is able to focus in on it and the interviewer can see it. You can also use old fashioned pen and paper, but don't forget to hold the paper up in front of the camera so your interviewer can see your progress. A common question about the system design interview is how much time do I have to present my ideas? And the answer is usually somewhere between about 30 to 40 minutes. You want to manage your time effectively Make sure you don't spend too much time on any one part of the interview, including asking questions up front, thinking deeply about product, or any other part of it, whether it's API, database, component structure. If you're unsure if you've gone deep enough, ask your interviewer. Explain your choice and the trade-offs you considered, 
and then ask if they would like more information. If they feel like they've gotten enough, they'll ask you to move on to the next aspect. One way to stay on track with your timing is to practice. Get a friend and a timer and make sure you can get through all of the things that you would like to cover in a system design in the time that you have allotted. Thanks for taking this time to learn about the system design interview process at Amazon. Remember, we really want you to succeed and come join the team. Good luck.